doing a tricep workout here and I'm just trying to figure out a good camera angle um so we got too bright a light in the other direction we're going to start with this v-bar um now a couple of things hopefully I won't hit my head on the bar above me Olympic bar that is and uh, then we have to figure out our the exact uh, chain size. To go with, um, which is always interesting. And I think we'll we're gonna try a different angle. So. Personally, you know, there's nothing more frustrating to me, I think, than going to any gym and the difficulty you might have getting to the cable machine to work your triceps. Or if you've gotten to the point where I am, where you're too strong for uh, one of them. I say too strong. But, you know, if I wanted to do 30 reps, uh, I would do... 30 reps. So, I'm not sure if that's a good angle. I think maybe for the back, we'll probably catch everything. I'll scoot back a little bit more. Alright, so we're doing, um, just trying to get warmed up here first. Belt squat. Tricep extensions with the V-bar and chain is I guess good length probably could take yeah I'm gonna take one link out um, so this definitely is gonna make the old elbow pop we'll have to put the elbow um, sleeves on here on the elbows But, uh, yeah, I mean, you can, if you have a power rack at home, you can buy the same setup. And quite honestly, in a little while, maybe you'll see the triceps all pumped up and be like, okay, that is as good as using the hammer strength machine or any other crap. Now, I do have a ton of dumbbells in here as well, so we can do overhead um, I have limited for both arms. Um, I'm going to get out the, the stuff that we're going to use today, though. For our triceps. And I really got to get back to doing the other things that I used to do on this. Between my, um, working my traps. So we have, we have... Double and single rope, which we're going to use. And I've got to really do a better job cleaning up the damn thing. So this TV here, I'm wondering if I just drag it down to the curb. I think I'll pick it up. Now, of course, this is one of those TVs that probably weighs 100 pounds. And don't know that I really want to lift that up by myself. Um, but who else are you going to call to help, right? In the current situation, we don't have a lot of help around here. I'm going to see if I can use my red belt. Where am I going to put that? One thing I do need to buy, folks, is a better weight belt. Like I have a bunch of different ones, and they all have their limitations. Um, this Chinese one, if I if my gut is the right size, this thing actually feels pretty good. <laughs> but if I lose weight, 
then I'm in between sizes. So go figure that out. All right. Um, that's me yapping. So we'll put tin powder on there. And then, like I said, I need elbow sleeves. Noticed I had something already on my elbow. That was to keep my pain patch uh, in place. <laughs> and there goes the weight belt, just like that. All right, so I took one link out. That's much better. Um, one thing to worry about is if you dangle your head over, is this thing hitting your head? Um, Depending on the placement, right? So, if we put the rope on it, we're going to have to take more links out. We're just going to go up and wait until we, uh, we find a good, good spot. Now, I was saying this weight belt is not reaching the velcro section, which sucks because there we go, and it's just barely on it. Now, when I take the shirt off, well, I might have to take the shirt off, but I put it under the shirt that makes it reach a little bit further. And if I knew how to use this thing properly. I like this even further. So, yeah, we're demonstrating. I might make a few links and saw out of this. By the way, this little bit of left is this veteran's blade. And I'm gonna copy veteran's blade and I'm going to use it as clear oak. Copy veteran's blade and my dad, my uncle, my wife. So this other one, this is going to be our selfie, our YouTube short one, I should say. Uh, I'm going to have to adjust this. You know, it's kind of maybe a little ridiculous that I make as many of these as I do, but um, if you get paid in the end, somehow... Now, I've realized nobody goes back and watches my old videos. All right, so belt squat, V-bar, chain, bench, flat bench equates to the ability to do V-bar tricep extensions. The only dangers with this, as I said earlier, got to watch that you don't hit your head with the belt squat and getting the chain length to be right is another story but I tell you by the time I get a hundred some pounds on here this is going to be um, as good as my fitness feeling machine at least that's how I feel so this thing, you know, easily add weight, right? 
maybe adding the, the weight pin is easier, but uh, super simple. Now we have a crap ton of tens. I'm probably gonna I probably need to switch out. I don't know if we can. We don't really have enough room to put all the tens on there. Conveniently, so we'll, I'll grab some five at some point. Actually, let's just do for the next set. Let's do thirty-five. So we'll have all these to the side. And I used to have this on my two by two. Um, it moved around too much. And I said, oh, you can use this on two by two. Well, yeah, if you had the right spacers. I, uh, I definitely feel like a, a three by three is a lot, a lot better. A lot more stable. Now, of course, a one inch pin would make it that much better, right? Which this does not have. Um, not like a half inch pin. All right, so here we go. Another set of V-bar tricep extensions. My favorite exercise is just the rope overhead with the with the gym using the cable machines. And, uh, so just like the gym, you know, I, I honestly go up about 10 pounds per set until we get to the full stack. And then we'll do anywhere eventually for 20 to 40 reps of the whole stack. Um, not the. So there's two kinds, right? There's the dedicated tricep, and then the one you can use for arm curls. I'm talking about the one you can use for arm curls, right? Sometimes I'll add the weight, the additional weight plate there to that, but the cable's so much smoother on that that uh, I definitely like it better than. I like so we'll have then the uh, one that's dedicated for triceps. I'll throw two and a half on there just in case we get there. Oops. Time for me to get up. All right, so let me uh, move some things around here. So I absolutely love, uh, I honestly tell you, I love the, the Hope Fit 3x3. Three three. I love whoever makes, whoever makes my belt squat device. I mean, there's probably better ones out there. Um, but this one's not too bad, folks. All right, here we go. We got 45 pounds on there plus the weight of the belt squat device. Weight of the chain, weight of the V-bar. Now if we look at the mechanics of this thing, you know, we basically got a lever, right? And Creating a moment. So you can figure out how much weight you are lifting um, based on some math. At least get it roughly close. So 
point I'm pulling up, up and away, whatever, is further away from the axis of rotation than where the weight is, right? So <clears throat> with that said, we have a mechanical advantage because of that. The weight, wherever its center of mass is, is pointed down into the ground. And the force that I'm doing is off at an angle. Uh, one would have to measure that to be exact, but then you could figure out the vertical component to that and really get an idea how much I'm actually lifting, right? So, um, kind of hard to, kind of hard to do, to be honest with you, uh, without writing it down on paper and referring to a, uh, let's see, not statics book, a mechanics, either mechanics and materials or, uh, dynamics. One of those books for those that have taken engineering. Um, I don't think it's in the physics book, but maybe maybe you'd find it in the physics book. All right, so we uh, we just did extra long set. Um, this is going to be two sets in one. Oh. All right, so. So genetically, one thing I got from my daddy was uh, previous and sized triceps. Um, this is going to make up the, the bulk of my arms. Um, we need, folks, I think another 25. I feel like we're going we're gonna to go pretty heavy today on these. That wasn't a YouTube short <laughs> with that. Now, if I could find a way to get some more room in this place. Oh, this. So I found my other uh, cap. GTX 25 and I might as well while I'm here go ahead and take these weight plates off so Either buy more 45s for you know, sadly, I bought I ended up buying a set of cap, then I bought another set, but then I, I weighed them and realized the weights are up to a pound off, which honestly kind of sucks when you think you're lifting, you know, if you're going for a PR. I think every weight weighed anywhere from on the money to a pound over. And caps were always heavier, right? And I think the problem with the caps, it's the paint. But you're actually lifting more weight than you think you are. Uh, so that's kind of annoying. You know, not being able to prove it <laughs> because the, unless you weigh everything. Now... Maybe the bar weighs less, who knows. All right, so we've got uh, 60 pounds on here. And I think, you know, depending on, we've got three camera views, which one is the best? That's the one we're gonna go with. One day we'll edit all this crap together. All right, 
this is getting a good pump there. Uh, we want to go up another 10 pounds. Seventy. I think we've we've figured this out where we got some good camera angles now. I've got a pig sty on the floor. Um, one day we'll get that all squared away. But there's another camera mount. Uh, for a while, folks, I was doing a. Uh, I was running a laptop with with what I thought was going to be awesome. A uh, three camera view, split view, whatever you want to call it. And then come to find out, whoops, oh man, what a cheap piece of crap thing this is. It broke. Um, then of course I find out that the audio is bad because I'm using either the, the mic or whatever. Uh, so that kind of sucked. So I just broke one of these. I thought these wrapped around, but they don't. So, I think we got another thing. Another thing for the trash can. Let's see if these are. Just my luck. Just my luck. Another, another thing tossing in the trash. Uh, I'll leave that over here. And I have these camera mounts. I don't know if this works with this. If it does, boom. All right. This actually has a side one. Might be better if I mount it on the wall. Yeah, it would be nice to just have some, have some of these mounted. So I can get some, you know, put the cell phone in her, or go back to what I was doing before. All right, so here's another one I'm putting the wall somewhere. Okay, so we have seventy now. I feel like we need to move this along, folks. Let's just jump up. All right, we got 80 on here. <clears throat> you know, at some point, going up five pounds is good, but uh, our 10 pounds on. So yeah, obviously the goal with the videos is for me to make money. Uh, get subscribers, interact. Before I went to Germany, I was interacting with a lot of people. Uh, three, well I say a lot. Three people in general. And then there's the trolls. But, uh, I think those days are over. So, All right. 
So we had 90 on there. We'll get to 100, I'm sure, I think. Might not. I'm going to put the rope on. Um, I have to make some adjustments. It's longer. All right. All right, we got 90 on here. Now, you know, another nice thing I think about doing triceps this way, let's say you, uh, you've had an abdominal tear at some point in your life. Um, this uh, doesn't feel quite as stressful on the old abdominal area, so maybe... Slightly better exercise for that. Um, I'm just putting this up with the rest of my bands. Or not the rest of them because there's a bunch more somewhere in here. But finally found a place where we can we can put the rest of the bands and not be not have it too big a mess. Got another spot. Yeah, this whole fit uh, 3x3, which most of you can't see, it is attached to this thing, but um, the belt squat. But it has these pegs on it that you can um, use for bands, different types of bands and stuff. And uh, it's kind of nice, I gotta say. So you could do uh, add resistance or take away resistance using the bands, I believe, with these things, which is nice. But I, um, I've not used that part of this thing yet. Sadly, I've only used the, <laughs> I think about it, I've only used the Hulk Fit 3x3 power rack for, um, military press. I have not used it for any other exercises. So that is uh, maybe not such a good thing. You know, I had planned to do, I guess we'll do it a different time. I got to do some shrugs at some point. I got to break in my 95 pound dumbbells for that. We have a hundred. We got a hundred. I don't know what the most I've done on this is, but this, you know, tricep exercise, I don't think this is not one of those ones where you just go, well, let me let me show off today and see if I can push down two hundred pounds. Uh keep it that eight plus rep range, you know. Preferably twelve and up, I would say. Alright, so let's go ahead and get another set in. Alright, here we go. 100 pounds, speed bar, tricep extensions using the belt squat device on the 3x3 Hope Fit bench or power rock. <laughs> Perfect. 
Probably had a couple more in me, but man, oh, I can feel that. So even though we added 10 pounds, it uh, <laughs> didn't feel that bad. Added 10 pounds. All right, so we gotta find another 10 pounder. We'll stop at one, one ten. This is the meat of the the workout today. The using the rope is just gonna be a little bit of fine tuning. Now, of course, you know there's other bars we have here that we could use. Um, I've got the cap curling bar as well. I'll drag this over here. You know, you can use this, right? This is like using a curling bar, Olympic curling bar to do to your triceps on. This thing's heavy. Uh, they're straight bars. I have a couple different straight bars. We have a shorter um, dual-headed rope, or whatever you want to call it. But I need to find a way to hang those things. I think they are not a danger to myself. <sighs> so it's all about time this works. So we got one, we got one ten on there. So maybe, maybe we'll just go ahead and do this. Is our last set. We're doing one twelve point five. All right, one twelve point five. Mark just came to say hi to me. All right, we got one twelve point five on our V bar. reps I did but boy, I felt that holy shit that is a way better feeling than I get in the light fitness okay so let's take a bunch of this weight off like all the way down to 60 now, I did find uh, with the ropes just about do the same weight now as we can with the V bar. Maybe not the same amount of reps. All right, so maybe that's not a true statement. Oh. So put that over there, and then uh, I think we'll try. Try this link first. So this is still too uh, Shorter one, maybe. It's so hard to get out of this position. Uh, okay, maybe I use the short one. I use this one for hammer curls. Honestly, folks, that felt damn heavy. I think it's because the triceps are so pumped up.
Okay. Uh, so just to demonstrate the rope. And this is where you can see, maybe there's, I'm coming close to hitting myself. Uh, I need to move the bench, most likely. Well, I think on that note, folks, I feel a pretty good tricep workout from just the one exercise. We're going to call it.